Hi everybody. Today we're in the kitchen and we're going to be cooking up some spinach chicken enchiladas. Mm -mm -mm. For this recipe, all you are going to need is some chicken, fresh spinach, lime, butter, green chilies, flour, green onions, cilantro, salt, pepper, cumin, onions, fresh garlic, and olive oil, and of course your tortillas. So, we have everything already chopped up and ready to go. Oh, and also cream cheese and Monterey Jack cheese. I forgot about that. So the spinach came out of our garden. Yay, it's the first batch of the spinach so far. So we're gonna start this recipe with sauteing the onions and garlic first. We're gonna get them nice sauteed and sweet and tender. A little bit of oil in my pan. And what I did is I have two garlic cloves that I cut up, minced up. And a medium yellow onion. We're going to let those cook up and saute to the nice and tender, translucent color. Then once that's done, we'll add the spinach to it to cook down the spinach. Turn up my heat a little. Y'all can probably hear Autumn in the background, <laughs> like always. Okay. And of course we got my cameraman. Now I do have my oven preheating to 325 degrees. You don't want to cook the onions and the garlic too fast because it will burn. Once it starts getting to go, then I'll turn my heat down a little. down to about medium. And just stir often so they don't burn. 
And you're probably going to cook this for about three to five minutes, stirring pretty constantly. I don't know about you, but I love the smell of garlic and onions cooking. That just shows you that the dish is going to be absolutely amazing. Just about the right color. You can let her out. take and add just a little bit more oil for my spinach okay we're going to start adding the spinach so we can get that to cook down. And for your spinach, you want about six to eight cups of spinach because it does cook down pretty well. <laughs> you know, when you have a one-year-old in the house, they run everything. Doesn't matter. Oops. I didn't want to go in there. It says, no, thank you. And this spinach that came out the garden, it's very tender and has a very good taste when we was cleaning it. Of course, we had to taste some of it. It's not a bitter taste. It's actually got a little bit of a sweet taste. As you can see how it's cooking down pretty good. Once we get this cooked down, we will add the chicken mixture into it and cook that just for a couple more minutes, which beforehand we had already cooked the chicken. We boiled it in seasonings 
and everything so it won't take very much to to cook with the chicken we're just mainly gonna put the chicken in there to mix it all up with this mixture right here then we're gonna move that into another bowl Having your own fresh vegetables is at, at your fingertips is actually pretty amazing. You don't have to spend all that time and money at the grocery store. Okay, so I got the last bit of spinach in my pan and it's wilting down pretty well. So I'm going to rinse this bowl out because this is going to be the bowl that I'm going to use to put the chicken mixture back in. Okay, as you can see, it wilted down really, really well. And here is the chicken that I did earlier. I took a fork and I shredded it. So I'm going to take and add that in here. And mix it all up pretty well. I'm going to let it cook for about two to three minutes. That's all the, that's going to have to cook. Getting ready, the half cup of cheese is going to go in there before I take the mixture out. Okay, stir in half cup cheese into this mixture. Okay, so let that just cook for two minutes. As you can see, it's soaked up all of the juices. And that's what you want it to do. You don't want it to be dry. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it over into the bowl.
get that cheese already. I need this skillet to go to the next step. Alright, so now I'm going to take the butter and I'm going to put it in here, let it melt down. with the flour melt this down a little and this is three tablespoons of flour that I'm adding to three tablespoons of butter kind of like I guess a roux we're doing because now I'm going to add the two cups of chicken broth. I'm just getting two cups of chicken broth. And I just use the chicken broth that I boiled my chicken in. pretty well mixed up. Okay. Get that going. <laughs> you hear our daughter's dogs going nuts because there's a fire engine. Now we're going to stir in the cumin which is half a teaspoon of cumin. We're going to stir in a teaspoon and a half of salt and about a teaspoon of pepper. Thank you. Okay, Marina. Okay, so that's all good and stirred up. We're going to cook this until it thickens up a little. Make sure it doesn't stick. While this is thickening, let's turn up the heat a little. You can go ahead and get your cream cheese open because that's going to be your next ingredients. Is going to be your green chilies along with your cream cheese and your lime juice. going to break up your cream cheese and put it down in there. You're going to use a whole block. And 
and you don't want to just put the whole block in there because you want it to to melt pretty evenly All right, give this a good stirring and add the green chilies. <laughs> She's stuck. She can't get in. As you can see, the cream cheese is melting up pretty good. And what we're going to do is, once this gets melted down pretty good and warmed up, we're going to take a cup of this and put it in with our chicken and spinach substance. Get the lime juice. Okay. Mix all that up pretty good. Okay, like I said, we're going to take about a cup of this mixture and we're going to add it to the chicken over here. Just like that. There we go. Let's mix that up. sauce is almost ready. Take and turn it down on low. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of the sauce also and put it in the bottom of the pan. This just helps it to where it doesn't stick. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start our tortillas, rolling the tortillas with the mixture. And this recipe will make about 10 to 12 tortillas, um, uh, what am I making? Enchiladas. <laughs> so we wanna put the mixture in your tortilla, Take, roll it up pretty tight. Okay, there's one. And 
And you know, these are a good meal prep idea too. You can take and freeze them by portionize on how much you eat and have for the week or longer. You can be generous with your, your meat, the filling. I have my cameraman back here helping me. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't this spinach and chicken look great? Mmm, that just looks totally amazing. Doesn't it? And these are going to be some really good enchiladas. You can make them on flour, you can make them on we, uh, uh, corn. I couldn't think of the, the other type. You can make wheat make them really healthy. You can also use this method in making um, taquitos also. Have chicken, spinach, cheese, taquitos. And then make sure you keep stirring your sauce every now and then so it doesn't stick because stick, you're going to need this. And also take and probably make some eggs for morning time breakfast food. That's some big enchiladas. Some big enchiladas. Okay, got my last one done up. So now, what I'm going to do, this over here, thank you sir, is I'm going to take the sauce now and pour over the enchiladas. You want to use it all because you want them completely covered to where they don't dry out. Okay. Now, you want to take any of your remaining cheese, all of your remaining cheese, and you're going to put on top. Put you some 
some green onions on top. Put you some cilantro on top. Just a little. Not a lot of cilantro yet. Okay, and now what you're going to do is you're going to cover it with foil and you're going to bake it for 20 minutes. So let me get my my cameraman's going to get my foil. Thank you. Okay, now I got it good and wrapped. So you're going to bake it for 20 minutes covered and then you're going to bake it another 10 to 15 minutes uncovered so the cheese can get bubbly and brown and just ooey gooey goodness. So let's go into the oven. And I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes. And then once that 20, minute, uh, 20 minutes is up, I'll take the foil off and put it back in for 10 to 15 more minutes. And, and then we'll be done. And we'll be back for taste test. Alright, so let's pull this out. Look at that yummy goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Cancel that. Bring it over here. Oh, wow. Oh, and it smells just amazing also. that beautiful? I'm not green <laughs> Okay, so we can take one. Look at all that nice ooey gooey cheese. having a little bit. Yeah, like Miss Brenda's got. Ah, I did it. Okay. Take some cilantro again and put on it. A little bit more green onion. Mm -hmm. well, if you don't want it, don't put it in here. Oh, no, it's fine. And take a little bit of this. Now take a look at that. Look at how beautiful that turned out. Mm -mm. Yes, yes, yes. So, we are going to try it. You want a bite? <laughs> Taste the vision.
very very good you would think it would be a little dry but it's not it's not dry and it's not overpowering with cream cheese or anything like that all of the flavors mix in very well together and um, the spinach in it is absolutely amazing as you can see look at that inside looks so beautiful the cheese in it actually melted really well as you can see um, so on this dish I would say actually in my book it's a nine your book mm-hmm my book it's nine my book it's a ten. Oh, wow thank you Thank That's better than the restaurants that we've had. Yes, yes. So it's got to be a 10. Aw, <laughs> thank you. So, from our home to your home, this is our version of chicken spinach enchiladas. I hope you try them and enjoy them. I hope that you stay safe, be blessed. Remember to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, and give us some thumbs up. So from us to you, thank you. Have a good day. We love you. Bye.